This is how we ride. This is how we do. We have a lot of different situations going on, and obviously, we have the headband on because we are feature winners. We had the last. This is very important. The last Hoosier Tire neckband that won in the World of Outlaws Sprint Car Series on the old tire. Because now they're going to the new tire in the Sprint Car Series. want to thank uh, the David Gravel crew and everybody there who decided to give me the headband. And, and, of course, we got the hat, too. But we're not here to support the damn ginseng industry. The hell you talking about? And obviously, we're here for freedom of choice, so we got American Racer in the background. But what is very funny is there was this post put up by the World of Outlaw Late Mile Series. Hoosier Racing Tire works hard to produce, develop, and distribute the absolute best performing racing tire race tires available today. That's why drivers from across the country race and win with the uh, American-made Hoosier Racing Tires. At least they're American-made because, of course, we all know that this is a German company because... Continental owns Hoosier, so <laughs> I did not see this po- post coming today. But now the comments were very interesting here. You have a guy named Matt saying, only reason anyone runs them is if their sanctioning body makes them. Have you ever sprayed a new tire after mounting it to see how bad it leaks? I have. Wow. I like them because the price goes up every year. One guy said, no, they race with them because series and tracks like you make them. Uh, one guy says, open it up and see how many jump ship. And then Jason Clark says, somebody at World Racing Group actually okayed this. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true because a bunch of people are hating the Hoosier tires right now. Like, I could have made two or three videos from Volusia where drivers are absolutely pissed off in the late mall series about this new tire. It's junk. It's this, it's that, and the other, but they're all zipping quiet because, you know, they all have some kind of deal with the Hoosier guys, so they don't want to ruin their relationship, so they're all shutting the hell up so they can sell or save 25 bucks a fucking tire on their national racing contract or deal they got with the guys, you know? It, it's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, Hoosier tire, yeah, they, they are the, you know, Goodyear abandoned and uh, left the dirt scene, and, and Hoosier was here and has always been here, but so is American Racer. I mean, they, they make some pretty good tires, too, I've heard, but Hoosier, you know, obviously has an interesting backhanded relationship with the dirt racing industry, uh, similar to how Goodyear has it with the NASCAR industry. It is somewhat typical business as usual with this situation, Obviously, people can get mad and bitch and say this or that or the other. But, I mean, Hoosier is one of the only manufacturers on that large of a scale that can produce the amount of tires needed by the racing, dirt racing industry in particular. They're just the one of the only ones. Now, yes, the prices are going up. Is that price gouging? I don't know. I mean... There's a lot of weird situations going on out there. I drove all over the country in 2019. I knew how much price prices of gas would jump from state to state. I knew if I was in Texas and the gas price was $1.40 something, that when I got to Iowa, it was going to be 2 something. Or when I got to this state, once I crossed the border, it was going to drop 20-ish cents or go up 20-ish cents. In today's world, that's not the case. Now, there was a lot of BS that people blamed for the increase in pricing on on, on the pump. But I know, I know that something happened uh, in, in society in the background outside of the cost of this or that. Because I know that these price changes aren't happening the same. They're not the same that they once were. The gas changing from state to state, the, the taxes in the background have definitely moved around and changed to where it's a lot more even now. But there's a lot of give and take on the backside of the political spectrum of the real world that makes that okay. We'll just, okay, we're going to increase the tax on the gas and the diesel, uh, but we're going to come out and say Biden's an idiot or something, or we're going to release some video or this or that, or we're going to have this happen or that happen. So while we do this in the background legally, we have this out here in the forefront distracting everybody. 
and no one's going to care. That's very potential, uh, potentially the situation that happened with the Hoosier situation on why they've had to go up and go up and go up. It's all distract this, distract that. Do we really have to go up? Do we really not? But who knows? Maybe they're being straight up honest and they have to go up. And they have to make these new different molds and have to do all these tires because these molds are free, right? They're just making these molds for the fun and the love of the sport. Has nothing to do with money. Has nothing to do with profit margins. It has nothing to do with any of this stuff. It's all because we love you. Hopefully, maybe Hoosier will be nicer to everyone and just do it purely out of love. Let's do like a a Hoosier Loves Us Month. Let's do it in, in the middle of summer, July. And Hoosier will take $50 off every tire when you buy a set of four. I mean, come on. Even General Tire pulls that shit. Hoosier, you can't you can't give it that deal? Why can't you give that deal? Come on. Come on, my Hoosier. This is how we ride. This is how we ride.